In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at SQL and we're going to look particularly at modifying records or updating records. And this is a, a part of the Information Technology Grade 12 CAPS syllabus. Now, there may come a time with your database that you need to change one of the records data. Now, this is not inserting new information into the database, a new record, for example. This is simply taking what's already there and modifying it or changing the record's value for a particular field. Say your name has changed, or your name probably doesn't change, but let's say you get married and you want to change your surname in the database. So you don't want to put a whole new record in there, you simply want to take your current record and change its values, and that's what we're going to do today by using an update. Now just a reminder, throughout this video series we've been using the CD database, which has a whole bunch of information about people who own CDs and the CD details, and we're going to be looking at the CD table, and there's an example of the data that is in the CD table. It's got the primary key CD ID, it's got the artist, the CD name, the genre, the replacement value, and the owner ID. So let's have a look at the format of an SQL update. We start off with using the word update. We then follow this by the name of the table that contains the record that you want to change or modify. So if whatever we want to change, if that's in a particular table, we use that table's name over here. We then follow that with the word set, followed by the fields that we want to change in that table for a particular record or records. Now, you can have it simply as we want to change, we want to update the person table and we want to set the name to Smith or surname must equal Smith. So you can have a simple change in the value directly. You could also write a formula which can change something. So let's say we want to give a discount or reduce the price of something. Then you could say set the price is equal to the price minus 10% or whatever formula you can use. You can use that over here under set. Now, you can just have that, but the problem with this is that it will update that table and will set all those fields of every single record in that table to whatever you specify over here. That's why it's very important to make sure that you've got a WHERE clause. A WHERE clause will then limit what you are changing, which records are you going to change. So this is where you write some sort of criteria, and you can make it as specific as where the person's ID equals this, so that you only change that particular record, or maybe you want to change a whole series of records so based on a criteria. So you want to change all the people who live in this particular address, so you can say where the address equals this value. Or if you leave this out, you can change every single record in the database if you want to, but then obviously you would leave the WHERE clause out. So let's go have a look at an example. So we're going to say update CD, which is the name of the, the database table that we're going to be using, and we're going to set the replacement value field to equal zero. Now I'm not going to do this example first because that what that's going to do is it's going to change every single record in the CD table. All of their replacement values are going to be changed to zero because there's no WHERE clause. So let's rather look at another example. Let's look at the following. Where we take the CD table, we're going to update the CD table, and we're going to set the replacement value to be whatever the replacement value is now currently and take 25% away from it. So whatever that value was, we're going to take 25% away from it. So it's almost like taking a 25%, or not percent, but a 25 value off the replacement value. But we are only going to do this to the CDs where the genre equals rock. So it's going to do quite a few records in the database, but only the ones where the genre is equal to rock. Then it will go and set that replacement value to 25 less than what its current value is. Let's go and actually try this in a database. So here we've got our database. There's the CD table. And if I double click on that, we can see all the fields. Now let's go look at some of the rock fields. There's Coldplay. You see it's 120. And there we've got Muse, which is rock as well. That's 180. We're going to change some of these fields, or some of the fields in this database. We're going to modify them by using our update. Again, I'm going to come over here to queries, and we're going to design a new query. And instead of using this, we're going to go straight to SQL over there, to the SQL view. 
Now we are not going to be doing a select statement, we're going to be doing an update statement, so I'm going to type in the words update, and that is going to be followed by, if you remember correctly, the name of the database table, which is the CD table that we want to update, and then we, we, we want to set a particular record or field, or not field, to a new value. So let's look at our database over here. Let's say we are going to change Celine Dion's A New Day Has Come album. We're going to say the replacement value is now 100. So I'm going to set her replacement value to equal 100. If I've spelled it all correctly, that should be fine. Now that's going to replace every single record replacement value to 100. What I want to do is just to replace Celine Dion's one. Now, I can do that in multiple ways. I could say where artist equals Celine Dion, but the problem there is that if she has more than one CD, it's going to change all of them. So if I want to change just that specific one, it's normally a good idea to use the primary key. So we're going to say where, put a where clause in, CD underscore RD equals 4. So where if it's equal to a 4, go to that replacement value and change it to 100. Let's see if that works. Be, uh, before I even try to see if it works, I just want to close this. Sometimes the databases give hassles if you try to modify them while the table is opened. So I'm going to just close it to make sure that it works with it being closed. So just a reminder, we're going to use the Run button over here. We're not going to use this view because we are updating the database table. We're not making a filter or a select statement, so we're not going to view the results. We're simply going to execute, and then we'll go into the table to see if it actually worked. So let's run. It says we're about to update one row. It says, yes, thank you. That's what we want to do. And if I go to the CD table, if I go to Celine Dion, you'll see now her replacement value is 100. Great. Now let's try that other query we had where we set the replacement value to be whatever the replacement value is now, if I spell that correctly, but we're going to take 25 off it, 25 rand, and we are only going to do this when the genre of that particular record is equal to the word rock. Now rock is a string or text field, so we must put in our double quotes. So let's just double check some of the results in here so we can see if it does work. We can see that Coldplay is 120 and we can see Muse is 180 and those are both rock genres. So those are two that should change. They should get 25 Rand less off the replacement value. Obviously rock is taking a hit this year so obviously their values are going down unfortunately. But all the others should stay the same so we should still see the 130, the 120 and the 100 there. So let's go and see if that works. We're going to run this to see if it works. And we do that by clicking the run button over there. Ooh, so now there are 51 rows that we are editing. So obviously there are 51 rows with the word rock in it. So we say yes. And then let's go look at our results. There, the 130 is still there. The 120 is still there. The 100 is still there. But Coldplay has gone down from 120 to 95, which is what we wanted. And Muse has also gone from 180 down to 155. So there we know it's worked. Now let's try that very daring one where we're going to set the replacement value to zero, but for all the records. Now I would recommend if you are ever testing doing updates, um, I would recommend that you make a copy of the database and do the testing on the side because if you make a mistake like if I didn't want to update all the fields then you're going to lose all that data so maybe make a copy of the database and then you modify the copy and if you made a mistake you can always get the original data back so let's do this one this one says we're going to modify the CD table and the replacement value is going to be set to zero and for which records well there's no criteria so it's going to do it for all the records Let's run and see what that does. It says we're going to update 151 rows. So that sounds that sounds like how many rows there are or records there are in the in that table. We say yes. And so it actually warns us there, you cannot undo this. So let's go have a look at our mass chaos and mayhem. There we go. It's been a very bad year. All of these cannot be replaced. These are priceless classics. Well, maybe not the Mighty Cyrus one, but these are Replacement value is zero because we can't replace these classical hits. So there you can see all of them are zeros. 
So to recap, when you want to change a record that already exists, but you want to change certain fields in that record, we use the update function. We say update with the name of the, the table that we want to modify or update. We say set, and then we say the field that we want to change. So replacement value must equal a particular value or formula. And then we set the where clause so that it updates only particular records, whether you specify the one particular record by just specifying its primary key or by specifying a series of records based on a particular criteria. For more videos on SQL statements as well as videos with Delphi, please go to our YouTube channel. You can like us on Facebook as well as follow us on Twitter to get up-to-date announcements whenever we have new videos. Uh, we'd love to hear from you, so please leave your comments. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way. The examples from this video come from the Grade 12 Delphi eNotes, which were created by Study Opportunities for use in 2014. In 2015, they will release a textbook with all these examples and details as well. If your teacher is interested in these textbooks, then must contact Study Opportunities at the following website.